Welcome back guys, thanks all the new subscribers, I'm really appreciating it. Say what's up to me down below, tell me your scent of the day down below. So, a couple people have asked me if I could talk a little bit more about Milestone. I've mentioned it in a few videos, I made short about it I think. It just keeps coming up, but I don't really go in depth, I just say salty watermelon and then I like it. So we'll talk about it a little bit more. I'm actually looking at this box right now, this little jewel right here. I wonder if I could sell this, you think this is worth any money right here? <laughs> So Club de Nuit Milestone, I actually still think this is kind of a hidden gem. This is a Millicene Imperial clone, which is like over $400, so definitely if you can get a lot of the way there for $33, which even though when I smelled Millicene Imperial at the department store, I'm pretty sure I went, yeah, okay, whatever, and I walked away, and I didn't think about it again until I got Milestone, and I found out there were clones of each other, and now I really want to go back and smell Millicene Imperial again and see if it's got anything on this. So the first time I smelled this, when I got it, it was like six months ago in the middle of the winter, and I was just like, yeah, okay, summer freshie, and I just like put it away. I didn't think about it. But then a few months later, I went back to it, and I smelled it, and I went, oh, what is this little salty little tingy fruitiness that like... I wasn't really getting the first time, I don't know. Maybe I just like dismissed it too fast the first time, or maybe I'd smelled more things since then, or maybe like the maceration or whatever it's called happened, and like the juice just got a little better. Cause when I smelled it again, I instantly was like, oh, this is amazing. Oh, I just there's another jewel on here too. Two jewels? You think I can just pop these both off and go sell them real fast? Maybe I can get another 10 bottles of something. <laughs> I'm just messing with you guys. But I really love this bottle. I really do. These caps are kind of a little hard to pop off, but you know I like a little good pop off that cap there. So it's nice and it, it clicks back in place too, a little click. And I think if you turn it a little bit, it comes off easier. It's kind of like a little mini hack. But, oh yeah. Let's go actually look at the notes live right now. It's always fun. There's always nice little typos right here. Milestone, the club of the night. Are you on Fragranica? Yes, thank God. Okay. Don't stick around here. Moraine, yeah, aquatic, woody. Powdery, interesting. Musky, violet, fruity, citrus, amber, salty. I really wish it just said salty watermelon. Like that would make it a lot easier. 2019, top notes are C notes, red fruits, and bergamot. There you are again, bergamot. Every single video, every note breakdown, bergamot is there. I've got to find out what bergamot smells like. I have no idea. The middle notes are violet, white woods. What? I've never heard of anything called White Woods. What is this? That's not sandalwood, is it? That's... Is that how you spell sandalwood? I guess. That looks like sandalwood. Sandalwood? The base notes are Musk, Ambroxan, and Vetiver. All right. Well, that was a hoot. Let's see if Amazon has a, a consensus of these notes here. Launched by the designer house of Armoff, K. Okay. This floral, fruity fragrance has a blend of bergamot, God, grapefruit, peach, orange, geranium, jasmine, lychee, ro what? The, uh, man, for granted, I didn't say any of this stuff. Rose, musk, patchouli, there you are again, patchouli, you're around too a lot. You, you must like hanging out with little bergamot, patchouli and bergamot just hanging out in a tree, I guess. Vanilla, vetiver, it's a long lasting fragrance. Increase attraction and skin friendly fragrance? Increase attraction? Attraction to who? To what? To bugs? To people? What are you talking about? Increase attraction? Are my looks gonna go up? Are my clothes gonna look better? What are you talking about? It's recommended for casual wear? Huh. All right. Well, that I agree. But will it increase my attraction? I mean, I might leave the house with one wife and come home with three. Hold on. I just sprayed a bunch on the back of my neck. I might have a little trail of wives behind me by the time I get home. Who knows? Jesus, we'll see. Increase attraction? I hope so. I really hope so. I could use a little increased attraction around here. Anyways, I love it. Like I said, it was love at second sniff. When I first smelled it, I said, yeah, a summer fragrance. And then I got my nose back on it a second or third time, and I fell in love. And now it's one of my most favorite fragrances. And it's a great deal compared to some of the other Club de Nuit's, like Untold, which creeps up into like the $50 range, which is like a little ridiculous. But this one in the 30s, yeah, 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 I like, I like, I like. So let me know if you guys tried this before, if you got your nose on it, or if you think it's a good clone of Milseam Imperial. I gotta go back and smell Milseam again, but this by itself as a standalone is amazing. And another one that you could just have this. $33, you could just have this for the summer and not mess around with all these fragrances like everybody else and go down this silly rabbit hole. You don't need to do that. You could just have this one fragrance for $33. I hope you guys are good. Leave me a like, I love you, and I'm gonna see you guys later. I just hit my own chair. Bye for now.